everybody so today i'm going to be doing a little update video on how my a levels and school life and sixth form life is going so far i've completed one year and i'm now into my second year and just to let you know i'm studying maths chemistry and biology and i do not regret that decision at all this video is just kind of about me talking about them chatting about them i'm not going to be showing you any books or anything i'm just going to kind of talk about how i'm getting on with it because you know you might be interested to see how it feels after you know doing it for a year and then into the second year and my opinion on each subject has changed. So if you wanna see this, then please carry on watching and also subscribe because I'm gonna be doing some revision videos um, before my exam. So if you wanna see them, then subscribe. So my first subject that I'm gonna talk about is chemistry because I feel like that's what I've had the most of a biggest opinion change in. When I first started, I found chemistry really quite difficult because I hadn't done triple science and I was struggling with it you know I wasn't quite getting it and what everything was and I was just like oh I don't know what to do the tests were a bit awful but towards the end of the year I did actually find my feet with it and I started to realize how to revise I did better in my tests um I think I went from a d to like a c or a b in a in the year which to me is quite a good thing because I will never get an a or anything in chemistry I'm just going to throw that out there but for me to get a B, I will probably jump out my own window if I get a B. I'm not going to do that, but I will feel like it because that's not going to happen. Realistically, I know that. Um, but chemistry has become a lot easier for me. And I think if you were to take it, then you would find it a lot easier too. This year, I've done um, chemistry. And because what I do is when the lesson has been I will try and go over what's been done in the lesson and when you're in the lesson you think oh god hell this is awful um it's horrible I can't do this but then as soon as you go and read over it everything makes sense because what's written in the book just kind of sums everything up you kind of understand what was going on in the lesson a little bit more and it just makes a little bit more sense so in that respect it's all right now I'm actually revising through what I did last year in chemistry and last year I thought everything was really difficult but now I'm looking back over it, it actually seems pretty decent and it actually seems all right. Um, looking back over it, it's all right. I'm quite happy. Um, revising over it, everything makes sense. Um, all the calculations are like quite all right. Now I know I'm saying that I'm finding last year's work easy. If I was to do a whole exam on last year's work, I would still probably maximum get a C because the questions are always there to try and like confuse you and I struggle with the questions side of things even if I know how to do it or I know how to calculate something I look at a question and I don't know what it's asking me I'm not going to lie to you so sometimes I feel like that's where I need to work on it I can easily remember the information in the book but if I can apply that to a question you know that's where I struggle so that's something I need to work on but yeah chemistry to me if you're looking to choose chemistry I'd go for it because yeah it's difficult when you first start and you might suddenly think I can't do this I'm gonna drop it it does get a lot better trust me because you will suddenly start to realize how to revise and everything just kind of comes together and I really do not regret taking chemistry at all. I feel like it's something that I might end up getting a better grade in than I would once originally thought. So yeah, and it's quite interesting. It's an interesting subject. I really like it. So yeah, if you have got any questions about chemistry, then do leave them down below. Um, but I do feel like everything kind of links together from last year and this year, which is what makes it so much easier because there's such a link to it that everything, when you're doing some stuff this year, it's almost like we're revising last year's stuff as well, which is kind of helpful. So yeah, it does link together and I'm very happy I took that. As for maths, because I do take maths, that's my favourite one in terms of the stuff that we're doing it clicks more, it makes more sense. Sometimes in the lesson, I will not understand something and I'll be like, oh God. But because I don't understand it, I will know that eventually I will get it. Because eventually you will get it if you keep going over it or if you ask somebody, you will get it eventually, I promise you. And that's what it's all about in maths. You will get it eventually. So you don't feel bad. And I, I love it for that fact because I've literally been doing so much better in maths than I have done in any of my other subjects. I did do my AS exams. And if you want to see a live reaction to my AS result for maths, then I'll link that down below. Um, but I got a B in that. Spoiler alert. 
go on B. Um, and I got really high in one of my exams and then quite low in the other two. So I am actually going to be redoing one of them to hopefully maybe push that up a little bit more, maybe to an A. We'll see, but I just want to give myself the best chance I can for this year's exams. So I'm going to try and redo one of them and I d I'm going to redo statistics. Um, oh yes, that's another thing. I do maths with statistics and I love I love statistics. I think it's quite a good thing to do. Um, if you're going to choose between mechanics or statistics, obviously it's to do with you and who you are. But me and mechanics will not get along at all. It's almost like physics. I just can't, my head won't understand it. My head won't get around it. I just don't get it. But statistics kind of makes more sense and I, I like it. I feel like there's not that much you have to learn for it, which might just be, you know, me just being a bit stupid and not thinking of everything, but it, it's not that much in comparison to other things. So yeah, for me, maths is definitely one that kind of clicks more with me. I wouldn't say it's easier than the other subjects, but I would say it's easier for me because that's what I like more. I'm gonna, I wanna go into a job to do with maths because I love organisation, dealing with numbers, figures, that kind of thing. It just makes sense to me. Um, in terms of has my opinion changed on math since last year? Last year, I started the year awful. I swear to God, it was absolute dreadful in terms of the pre kind of tests that I had to do from basically my knowledge of GCSE was shocking. And it, it you know, it. I got like, I don't know what I got. I got, oh, I got an awful score. Um, and when I actually started learning the course, I picked it up straight away. Everything seemed to click so much more. I know I, I'm not like the best, but it just makes more sense to me than my other two subjects. So I really like maths. And now I feel like this year's maths is harder than last year's maths by quite a lot. I feel like a lot of it is kind of like last year's stuff so core one and two and statistics was like there's a method to do it if you remember the method then you can do it whereas this year is like there is a method but you almost have to kind of think about it a little bit more it's not always straightforward and I don't really like that so that's why I want to redo one of last year's exams because I feel like this year's exams are going to be a little bit harder and maybe won't get as good but you know if I put the effort in we might get somewhere and finally biology me and biology, we're a little bit like not good friends right now. Um, I wouldn't say biology is difficult. I think the lessons are like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's interesting. That's nice. But the sheer amount of information you have to remember is stupid. Like from GCSE to A level, it is disgusting <laughs> how much stuff you need to remember. And I find, I find it, I do find it hard in tests and stuff because even just revising a small topic for the test I struggle because there is a lot of information to remember and sometimes I will revise so much for a test and I will still do like a lot better than usual but the re but I won't get like really good grade is because the questions I don't know what they're asking me again I don't know what they're asking me and sometimes it will ask you something and you will give a perfectly reasonable answer, but it's not on the mark scheme. And it's like, mate, I'm sorry, but I kind of know sort of what I'm talking about. I've put separate points in that are, that do make sense, but it's not in the mark scheme. So no, no mark, zero. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, I'm thinking of extra points here that the book doesn't have. So extra marks, please. But that's not how it works. And that's where I struggle because I think when I'm answering the questions, I don't necessarily think back to the book. I think about what I would answer it if I hadn't learned that, which is not the way to do it. Think about what the book is telling you and relate it back to that um, uh, from your memory, obviously, because you don't have the book with you. I wish you did, but you know, I feel like even if I had the book with me in biology, I would still do bad. That's just how it is. You know, I would just write something wrong anyway. That's just how life goes. But we'll have to see. I think the thing with biology is to do tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of practice papers and then you will get to grips with the mark scheme and you'll understand it a little bit more. So I think that's kind of what it's all about is practice papers for me. But biology, I feel like it's going to be my worst grade out of all of them. I'm not looking forward 
to getting that great I'm not gonna lie um, but this year compared to last year in terms of difficulty is exactly the same the information is just more it's not really like it's harder to understand or anything it's just more stuff um, and I have been getting better in my tests um, recently and towards the end of last year than I was at the beginning of the year so I have been progressing um, I think my highest grade I got in a test was an A and then I have a couple of B's and the rest of them are C's and D's but the season days were at the start of the year. It's it's good. I'm I'm okay. You know, I'm not regretting taking it, but it is my least favourite, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, overall six form life, I really enjoy six form. It's definitely more for me than anything like college. I actually thrive off work. I know some of you will think, well, you know, what the hell are you on? Um, but I liked having something to do, a purpose. I come home from sixth form and I am so motivated to do work. And I know that a lot of my friends would be like, you know, Georgie, just shut up, mate, because I'm not. Um, but I am. And I, I don't know what it is. I really like learning. And I think it's because when I'm revising, I'm getting through the book and you can see yourself making your way through the book and it's like you're achieving something every time you finish the topic. And I think it's that. I, I love organisation and I love everything to do with it. So it's good. So yeah, so far so good. And I will keep you posted. I will do... Did anybody just hear that? That was my guinea pig. I always hear that noise and I don't quite know what it is. Have any of you seen that video of that hippo? of a hippo pooing. I know it's a bit disgusting, but but it is really funny. It kind of reminds me of that. It's like a little clapping sound. Um, off track completely. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like six forms definitely for me more than college by far. Homework wise, we don't really get that much um, in my school anyway, in compared to like how much you could be given. Um, but I feel like everything is solid right now. It's all good. I'm quite happy with how I'm getting on. But it is a lot of work. It is a lot of a commitment. But if you're committed for that two years, you'll be all right. Um, you'll be okay. I don't know if there's anything left to say. But anyway, if you've got any questions for me, then please do ask them down below in the comments. I will answer them. I'm going to be doing videos on revision and kind of videos related to that kind of thing. And what I'm gonna do in the future, what's my next plan at uni, that kind of thing. Just videos popping through the year to keep you posted. So make sure you subscribe for that. And yeah, I will see you very, very soon if you're subscribed. And, 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 and I don't know what I'm going to be saying. Goodbye. <laughs>